Today it's the day of the Lord. I wish every one of you God's blessings and the prompting of the Holy Spirit. Today's gospel is taken from Matthew 11th chapter 25 to 30. The gospel revolves around the theme of revelation of God. The gospel can be divided into three parts. Verse 25, it speaks of Jesus giving thanks to God for having given this revelation to be revealed to the babes and uneducated. The second part starts from verse 27. It speaks of Jesus is himself is the content of the revelation. And the last part, verses from 27 to 30, 28 to 30, it speaks how we have to respond to the revelation of God. In the first part, Jesus gives thanks to God for having given the gift of the mystery being revealed to the babes and uneducated. The mystery of coming of God, of the incarnate word of God was first revealed to the poor shepherds. He gives thanks to God that this mystery for which the kings and great people were craving to know, were craving to understand, now the word of God, the revelation of God is simply given to the poor for which Jesus gives thanks. The second part, Jesus is himself is the, the content of the revelation. Jesus is himself is the revelation. God sent his only son to save the world. The darshan of Jesus is the face of the eternal father. Whoever sees me, sees the Father, says to the Philip. His face is the face of the eternal Father. Whoever sees his face, they see God. Whoever hears his word, they hear God speaking to them. Whoever has relationship a deep relationship with the Son of God, Jesus, they have a unique relationship with God himself. So he is the fullness of revelation. Hereafter, there is nothing to be revealed. Jesus in himself, by his very presence, the fullness of God, the full mystery of God is completely revealed. Whoever is in search of God, whoever wants to see God, whoever wants to know who has created this world and who is the cause of this world, it's enough that they simply go to Jesus and hear his words. They will know everything. Because he is the eternal wisdom. The third part is that how we have to respond to these words of God. We must respond to his words of God. In the Jewish custom they used to say the yoke of the Torah. Whoever puts his neck on the yoke of Torah, they will get the wisdom. 
whoever puts the neck on the on the yoke of kingdom they will have freedom so yoke is considered to be something very hard that has to be carried on the neck jesus says my yoke is very light simple is a very beautiful teacher very powerful teacher when he says a word a yellight and poor can understand that's the beauty of this great teacher so he asks us come to me all who are heavily burdened please come to me all who are tired of searching god come to me all who are in the in the way of searching god in the research of searching god come to me i will give you the wisdom i am the wisdom please come to me and you will have comfort jesus has chosen us to reveal himself to us as christians he has revealed himself fully to us daily he speaks to us to be really hear the still voice of god every day to we respond to the revelation of god that speaks every day in our heart let us pray heavenly father we thank you for the gift of jesus christ the fullness of revelation give us the experience of the disciples who had with jesus on the mount tabor give us the same experience of living with jesus lord you continually speaks to us through the word of god help us to see you help us to hear your shrill voice always rings in our hearts so that we may respond properly to the revelation and filled with the experience of god we the, we ask this through christ our lord amen